Hmm? Okay, I think I'm on. Good afternoon, everybody. Hi, hello. Welcome to class. Again, we are a little bit earlier. Uh, we are Hi everybody, welcome to Yin Yang. Um, I'm on a little bit earlier because I really want to touch base with everybody um, to see if there's any questions in regards to your own practice. Um, obviously through the screen it's very hard to to take care of you. So if you have any injuries or if you have any questions, uh, you can let me know. Um, it could be after class. Um, you can just comment later on after you watch the video again. Um, hello, everybody. Hi, Sophia, Man, Amy, Becky. Hello, everybody. So if you have any questions in regards to your own personal practice, you know, we're here. Um, I'm here for you to answer anything that I know and share with you because the most important part is just to take care of yourself, right? So, hi Becky from US, hello. Are you East or West Coast? Is it early or late? <laughs> hello, so uh, let me know if there's anything. Today's practice is a little bit more uh, balanced out in regards to restorative and a dynamic class. Um, I was talking a little bit before my other, my other live on Tuesday that um, the benefits of you know doing a static and a dynamic practice and then today's class is yin yang you know it means um, there are we're going to go in depth into deep stretching uh, and holding it for a little bit longer than usual and then adding a little bit more strengthening and a little bit moving meditation practice with it okay would you please focus on low back issue you know what I think I think everybody has lower back issues okay if you're like my age, or if you're a little bit older, eventually it'll creep up on you, right? So back issues are, are like this huge spectrum of uh, diagnoses. So it could be like a slip disc, it could be just tightness, it could be like um, degenerative of the, the discs, it could be anything, you know? So, um, because, hi Pilar! <laughs> so if anything, you just need to take care of yourself first, right? Like I said before, send me a message, um, I'll see if I can point you towards the right direction. If I have any my own personal experiences, I'll share with you. Hello, Daga Ho. Um, so my journey has been like a lot of ups and downs in regards to my back or to you. So after I, I had my second baby, I had uh, extreme sciatica for 11 months straight. So it was very debilitating. So sometimes you might just need to stop your practice and let your body heal. You know, and when you feel like your body's able to move uh, into certain poses to help strengthen or stretch, then you slowly move back into your practice, you know. Uh, injuries sometimes are very unfortunate, but it's also a good opportunity for us to step back a little bit. And why are we practicing yoga? Hi, like why are we doing this? You know, it's for our well-being, not to injure ourselves. How do you build up enough core to start trying inversion, Samu? Um, hi. Um, I think there's many aspects. It's a full body conditioning. So um, you don't have to have a six pack in order to do an inversion, but you have to have that core awareness and strength, right? It depends on what inversion too. So if your headstand, it's a lot on shoulder stability. Um, it, if it's handstand, it's a lot about, you know, the alignment and having that strength to hold with the core. So again, you don't need a six pack, but you just have to have that core and strength awareness a little bit more. Yeah. and number one thing you need to have for inversions is patience yeah don't rush into it don't injure yourself <laughs> i irene says i think i have tightness issues I, I, we all have tightness issues Ugh, i'm still super tight in certain areas too um believe uh, when i first started doing yoga i honestly i could not touch my toes i was in a four bend and my back was hunched and i couldn't touch my toes so what it is is just Patience, consistency, and sincerity in your practice. 
Okay, good. I will look at your questions later. I'll scroll through the comments later. So just ask me anything. Um, and then we're going to start the practice. Okay, so again, yoga mat is ready. Um, and let's begin. Let me swipe. Okay, done. Okay, so come on your mat. Um, if you don't have a mat for today's practice, um, it's okay. You know, I have a lot of people asking me, I don't have a yoga mat, do I need to invest into it? Honestly, if you're gonna continue practicing, it's great to invest into a yoga mat, but if you don't, uh, a rug will do well, right? Especially for a yin-yang practice, okay? So come to a comfortable seated position. We are now sitting so sit in any cross-legged position and close your eyes. How am I doing it? So take a few long deep breaths. You know, something. So just settling your body back onto the mat, back into yourself. So for those that possibly just came in, we're going to begin our yin-yang practice. Okay, so it's a balance of deep stretching, breaking through the knots in the body through yin, and a yang practice where we can actually work a little bit of lengthening yet also strengthening. Okay, let's connect our breaths first. So remember to breathe through the nose, okay? Exhale through the nose, and inhale through the nose for four, three, Two, one, exhale four. Three, two, one. Inhale four. Three, two, one. Exhale four. Three, two, one. Inhale four. Three, get up, we'll a cup hey. One, exhale four. We'll be a full hey. Two, one. Last two, inhale. And lengthen your spine. Feel the center of the heart. Grow brighter and exhale four three two one last one inhale four three soften the face one exhale four three two and one come back to a natural rhythm so breathing through the nose throughout the whole practice if you can Hands into Anjali Mudra. Take this moment to set an intention if that's your practice. You know, I sometimes like to simplify things and say, today I'm just going to practice on really deepening my breath. Balancing that steadiness with strength and breath. Three ohms. Inhale. Oh. Inhale. Oh. Inhale. Thank you. Namaste. Let's have a great practice. So bring your hands onto your knees. We're going to start with alternate nostril breathing, Nadi Shodana. So um, if you haven't practiced before, you can keep your eyes open. If you know the practice, please close your eyes with me. Okay? You go may jo go alternate nostril breathing la. Le zhao hoi yi ma da shang an jo ge. You go le jo hoi la, so yin gai hoi ha an de yang. Okay? okay? So I'm going to close my eyes and I will guide you. With your right thumb, cover your right nostril. Exhale through the left. Jaw being full. Hey. Inhale left. Four. Three. Two. One. Use your fourth finger. Cover the left nostril. Exhale right. Four. Three. Two. One. Inhale right. Four. Three. Two. One. Exhale left. Four. Three. Two. One, inhale left, jobby cup hey. Two, one, exhale right. Four, three, 
two, one. Inhale, right, four, three, two, one. Exhale, left, four, three, two, one. Inhale, left, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, right, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, right, remember to sit up straight, three, two, one, exhale, left, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, left, two more rounds, three, get a chaw to you, one, exhale, right, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, right, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, left, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, left, last round, three, two, one, exhale, right, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, right, feel bright, tall, three, two, one, exhale, left, five, four, three, two, and one, release your right hand down, inhale through the nose, and through the nose, exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Okay, gently bow your head. And then slowly blink your eyes. And open your eyes. Okay, so let's begin. So, come into your knees. Okay, and we're going to come into a side stretch from here. Okay, so bring your right hand onto the floor. Inhale, left hand up. Okay, and gently arch over towards your right. Okay, and hold here. Okay, if you want to keep your eyes closed, you can. Okay? So make sure that that right shoulder is not shrugged up like this. Right? Bend the elbow and relax it. You can use a block or a palm down or a straight arm. But keep that shoulder away from the ear. Okay? Hold here. Good. Inhale, come back up, switch sides, inhale the right hand up, exhale, arch over. Yeah, so as you have your hips on the heels, you want to feel an even weight distribution between both feet and hips. So you don't want to lift that hip up too much, you know. So you want to really feel the stretch on the right side of the body. Hold here. Good. Inhale, slowly come up. Good. Exhale and release. Okay. So from here, I'm gonna go sideways now. You're gonna lift your hips up and tuck your toes. Good. So when you tuck your toes, you're gonna sit back on your heels and just sit up straight. Okay, so if you notice, you can just watch me. I'm gonna go backwards, right? There's a tendency to put the weight on the big toe side, like the midline, right? So what you wanna do is that you wanna lift your hips up and then you wanna open your hips so that the weight goes on the pinkies, okay? The pinky toe. And once that's there, you want to sit back down good, and hold. So you should feel that extra stretch on all 10 toes, right? So you really feel it. Yeah, so make sure you don't open the heels so wide that you're actually collapsing, right? So you're still sitting on your hips and then sitting on your toes. Does that feel good? <laughs> For those that have flat feet, it's quite torturous. Um, my husband has flat feet, so it's actually quite painful for him, okay? So holding here, we're going to hold for 10 breaths. Interlace your fingers and press it forwards towards me. Good. And you want to pull the belly in as if you're coming in a cat. Drop your chin and hold. Good. Keep the breath moving. Keep putting the weight on the feet. Breathe to your toes, whichever area that's tight. Inhale, reach your arms up. Good. And lift the chest and hold. Good. If you want to take it a little bit deeper to the stretch in the toes, lean back a little bit more, but keep your knees grounded onto the floor. Hold. Good. And inhale, come back to the center and bring your hands into your heart center. Stay here. Your hips are still sitting on your toes. Good. We're going to do that one more time. Interlace your fingers, press it forward, curl the spine, bring your chin down and hold. Good. Stay with me. We're almost finished, okay? Your toes will be so grateful. Inhale up. Yeah, then arch it back a little bit more. So now you can see if you want to go deeper, lean back, hold for five, four, three, 
two, and come back to center. Bring your hands into your heart and move forward. Point your toes, sit on them. Alright, so really breathe through them and appreciate your toes. You know, we always neglect the toes. You know, we use them every day practically. And we don't think like, oh, my toes are helping me. They're so beneficial for our balance and walking. Okay? Now opposite. So sit down on your heels again and have your ankles uh, onto the mat. So you're pointing your feet. Maybe this ankle's better. Okay, good. Hold here. Okay, now you want to do is you want to curl your spine, kind of like a cat pose. Okay? Yeah, bring your hands onto the floor, fingertips. Yeah, lean back a little bit more and then lift your knees up. So you want to lift your knees up and look forward. Try not to drop your chin. You want your chin to go forward. So you can lift as high as you can and hold here. This is a great stretch for your ankle. Yeah, find your balance and look forward. Pull the core in. If you want to challenge yourself, possibly you can lift your hands up and balance. Good. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and hands down. Release the knees down onto the mat. Okay, extend your legs forward. Give it a shake. Say thank you. I feel good. Okay, good. And then come into a simple Pachimottanasana to kind of open up the backs of the legs. So you want to move your flesh away from you and your buttocks and then make sure you're sitting up straight okay if you need a block you can use a block but otherwise work on pressing your butt down and lengthening your spine up to the sky yeah so really working that so you can't do that if your legs are not engaged right so engage your legs super strong and hold here All right so if you have your arms straight in this pose it's called the nasana so as simple as it may look it's quite strenuous Okay, and hold here. Yeah. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, start to tilt forward and see if you can hold your toes. Good. So we're just going to stay quite dynamic in this pose for about five more breaths and then we can go down and stretch. Okay? Otherwise, flex your toes and pull your chest towards your toes. Holding here for five. Four, keep your spine straight. Go deeper. Three, two, and one. And oh, relax. Oh, relax down and really feel oh my legs my back whatever feels good if the toes want to go out let them go out just feel the stretch micro bend the knees good and breathe here okay now engage your legs again inhale halfway lift and come all the way up okay I'm moving a lot today sorry I just want to make sure you get the right angle okay so now we're gonna work a little bit of the midline up to the body okay so um, we don't want the feeling that our body is going bleh, like out, outside. So you want to pull everything in towards the midline as much as you can, okay? So from here, I want you to lean back. I'm changing angle again. Stay with me, stay with me, okay? Lean back. So you're kind of sitting at like a 35, 40 degree angle. And bring your hands into your heart center. So it's up by some hojong down. Good, and hold here. Yeah, so we're not curling the spine, we're lengthening, right? Again, I'm holding your shirt right now and I'm pulling you up. Yeah, and you wanna get the curves of the spine, hold here. Good, yeah, point your toes, lean back, good, and lift your feet up just about an inch. Don't curl the spine, lift up, lengthen your spine, hold here. Good. So if you start shaking, it's fine. You're pulling the core in towards the midline and you're lengthening your chest. Good, open your arms and bend the knees in into half boat. Hold here. Good. From half bow, lift the chin, come into full bow. For five, four, three, two, bend the knees, bring your hands and hearts in, lean back. But keep the chest lifted, keep the chest lifted. Changing ankles, hold here. Feel the core. Legs are strong. Good. Bend the knees, come in, half bow. Find your breath, or if you want, pull the core in, full bow for five. Four, three, breathe. Two, and one, bend the knees, hands into the heart, lean back, hold. Yeah, so you're not going too far back, and there's a tendency for people to round their back, moham boy, lengthen. Can we do this one more time? Let's go. Half bow, hold. Yeah, lift up, full bow. Five, four, three, belly in. Two, and one, bend the knees, come down, lengthen your spine, hold for five, four, three, two, and one, come up, 
and hug your knees. Lounge with Seth Hogo. Good. Appreciate everything in life. <laughs> okay, coming to downward facing dog. How do I say? Here for those that are new. Hands are shoulder width apart. Your feet are hip width apart. So my job is to sit up. Put your feet high. Hit with your foot. Take your feet high. Stay up with your foot. Girls are hip width foot. Then hold here. Find your breath. Relax the head down. Holding here for eight breaths. Back up. Hold up. I'm hot. I'm starting to sweat, guys. Hold here. Good. Step your right leg forward and come into a warrior two legs. Mosi Sigi. Bring your hands onto your hips. So that's how you. Yeah, so come to your comfortable warrior two. You know, if you want to go deeper, you can. If you just want to go a little bit kind of less, which is okay. But all in all, you don't want to go ahead. Of the ankle with your knee. Okay, so the foot can go high, tap the leg, high the foot, or whatever, hold just a little. But don't go too high, the foot. Okay, hold here. Get interlace your fingers behind your back and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Get your leg. Okay, so you want to have your heel, your thumbs away from the body and hold here. Okay, bring your palms together. Okay, and bring the left outside of the hand towards your left hip. Good. Yes, like you can see it like this way. Okay, so you're really pulling the left hand over and then resting it on the hip crease a little bit more. I'm thinking about trying to find different angles in my house to shoot. I think for now this is the best one. I'll figure it out. Okay, hold here. Good. Now take your left hand, go draw south, and release the interlace and bring your left hand and hold your right inner thigh. It's there, right? Keep the left shoulder open. Get and bring your elbow to the knee. Yeah, so I'm talking to you, so I'll go and hold and breathe. This should be quite comfortable right now because English get shoe for bigger, right? So the hand is there to help you. Draw some body, that how I got job. Open the left shoulder and hold here. Okay, you want to feel like there's crazy glue underneath your left palm and it's stuck. Okay. So the jaw, so jaw, and teeth, jaw, gouge, sorry, teeth, you lock that way. Okay, keep that there. Okay, extend the right hand, hold your ankle, and straighten the right leg. Keep the left hand where it is. Yeah. So adjust to any height you need. If you bring to bring it higher, go ahead. Otherwise, to the ankle or foot is perfectly fine. Okay. Open the chest. Look up. Find your balance. So how I taught it before, lengthen the sides of the hips. Ah, no, the waist. Jaw, you, you, sunjhunga. Okay, so the right hand is actually quite light. Hangs, you see. Hold here. Good for five, four. Keep the fingers and the left hand stuck on the right on the right thigh. Two, and one. Bend your right knee. Come back into side angle, and open the chest one more time. Hold here. Good. So, if you have a lot of weight on the elbow, lessen it a little bit. Hang fan shu shu ge shao zhan, okay? Good. I want you to lift, possibly everybody, lift your right elbow up a little bit, so it's like hovering. Yeah. Okay. Hold. Look up to the sky. Still, you're just in one place, and extend both arms straight at an angle. Open the chest. Imagine the hand is still in the thigh, opening up for five, four, back leg strong, guys. Three, two, and one. Bring your hands onto the floor. Step back into down dog. And breathe. Coffee, full head. Hmm. Yeah. Let's just do a gentle restorative vinyasa. Inhale to plank. Yeah. Let me go back. Knees, chest, chin. Exhale. Slide forward into cobra. Inhale and exhale. Downward facing dog. Hmm. Switching sides. Nothing fancy. Just step it forward. Warrior two. Hands on your hips and hold. Okay, so make sure your feet are in the right position that you like. Make sure you're steady. Make sure you're happy. And then you want to lock the legs. Right. Lock it in. It's done. Interlace your fingers and open the chest. So you're facing forward. Yeah. You're not facing 
of the left knee, you're facing side, so in between both legs. Good, hold here. Now bring your palms together and bring it to the outside of your left hip and hold. So you're helping locking that shoulder open, the right shoulder. Bend the left knee. Equal the weight on both feet. So if your left leg is way tired, engage the right leg. Now help your right hand with your left, open it and place it to the inner thigh. Now stick it, right? Gao sai, ti zhe. And bring your left elbow to the knee. Good, and coming to a side angle. And keep opening up the chest. So we always have imbalances in the body. This side could be tighter or more open. Use your breath to work deep into those tightness and balances in the body. Look down to the floor, bring your left hand to the ankle, straighten the left leg, open the chest. You can go lower if you can, good, and chin up. Keep using your leg strength, guys. Pull the core in and notice your breath. Deep inhales, deep exhales through the nose. If you want to go deeper, open the shoulder up more. Look down into the ground, bend your left knee, and bring your elbow back onto the knee. Good. Find your balance, open the chest up. Okay, hover, 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 and release, and extend. Hold here. Five, four, three, two, and one. With control, release. Good. Step back into eight point pose. Exhaling. Inhaling to cobra. Ah. Exhale into down dog. Five breaths here. Move full cup. Good. You can also take the option for child's pose. Five breaths. Last two. Finding stillness in your down dog now, focusing 100% on your breath. Inhale to plank, jiang shang up, and hold. Good. Let me go side by side. <laughs> this mat is so big, I actually don't know which angle was the best because they usually go with the line on the mat. But anyways, hold it here, low, high plank. Yeah, knees, chest, chin. So the, the, the hips, do not tuck, you wanna push it back and bring your chin and chest down onto the mat. And hold. It's a little bit hard for me to talk here. <laughs> but hold it here. Good, eight point pose. Feel the hips open back. And if you can, strain your knees, hold. Five breaths. <laughs> Oh, so weird. Hold. Good. Inhale. Come up into a mini cobra, big cobra, or upward dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Joko go dong. Joko basang bean zai. Hold here. Let's do that one more time. Okay. Inhale. Plank. And hold. Good. Knees, chest, chin. Down. Good. I'm going to give less cues. Just hold it. Straight knees, hold. Breathe. Good. Cobra, lift up. Chin up. Exhale, downward dog. Hmm. And five breaths here. I forgot my clock, so I gotta make sure I know the time. Stay in down dog. Bring your feet together. Press the heels down onto the mat. Inhale the right leg up, just a stretch. Hip open or closed, up to you. And step forward. Okay, bring your back knee down. Good, and just sit in this low lunge for a bit and breathe. Good. Find your breath. Look forward. You're gonna bring hands onto your knees. 
and Sediver。我頭先講緊，我要揾唔同嘅角度啊，角度係 OK， 係就可以拍好啲，因為而家擺呢個位，又要向左又要向右，唔知邊個最清楚可以睇到。And hold here。OK， so you need to come into a lunge where you're able to feel the stretch in the left soles. OK， so I don't want you to come to lunge where you're actually just sitting. Uh, and putting the weight onto the back knee, right? Step it before it and lunge a little bit more. Good. So we can do that together. Actually, everybody bring your hands into the inside of the foot. Okay. Keep your right knee perpendicular and walk your left leg back as much as it'll go. Good. And it's like, oh, okay. You can go a little bit further. And then when you're ready, back up. Good. So lay your whole whole day, gum so, like a jaw chin hip, sun jin gun ga. So we're gonna stay here. Bring your right hand on your left waist, jaw so tie you, good. and just gently let the rib cage go in a little bit more. Yeah. So don't let it go out like this. You wanna go in right, and hold here. Do you feel the stretch? Do you feel it? Yeah. Again, the psoas are like the yogi muscle, lower back all the way towards the leg bone. So it's a huge muscle that really helps us to strengthen, stretch. Go forward, go backward, everything. Okay, holding here. Good. Inhale your left hand to the sky now. Draw sa hand team and breathe. Okay, we're gonna have about two to. It's gonna say two to five more minutes. That's a big difference, but yeah, two to five minutes. We'll see where we go. Okay. Okay. Now bring your right elbow to your knee. Yo, so zan talk with yo. So talk with somebody. Okay. Then arch over towards your left. Ah, hand job you. Good. Stay here and breathe. Okay, so the left, the right hand's just chilled out. The left hand's reaching over, just intensifying that sore stretch. And hold here. Good. Don't get angry. Yeah. Don't be upset. <laughs> don't be mad that we're holding it this long. It's a process. I'm with you. I'm stretching with you guys. Okay. And sweating with you guys. Hold here. Okay, let's give this 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, if you want to go deeper, drop the hip down. So go hip joy dai, joy dai, and arch over. If you can, bring a hand onto the floor. That's also an option for you. Okay, hold here. Ah, such a nice stretch. A lot of times we have a lot of emotional locks and knots in the body, especially on the hips and the heart center. So that's why we're focusing in on those a little bit more. Almost there, guys, okay? Five more breaths, and we'll go full cup. This, is, this isn't as pleasant as it looks. You really feel the insides going, ah! And you're breathing through it, okay? Breathing through it. You inhale, come back up. You bring your elbows back onto the knee and breathe. Good. So tuck your back foot. How do you bring your feet? Lift your left knee up. Yeah, so the left knee's up and then come back into a high lunge. Holding here for five. Four, we're reactivating the muscles that relaxed earlier. Three, two, and one. Bring your knee down, okay? Step back with your right leg into down dog. Take a vinyasa if you like. Either restorative e-point pose or into a full vinyasa. Or just stay in downward dog. Feet together and down dog. Inhale, left leg up. Step forward. Good. Elbows on the knees. Okay, and breathe. I'm gonna face you and breathe here. Again, you can do that um, hands down and step back if you want. Like bring your hands down, step it back, go deeper. Okay, so you know that it's actually your true depth into the lunge. And breathe. I used to take yin classes um, there is a really amazing teacher she's not at pure anymore she's on Hong Kong Francis uh, she's an amazing yin teacher I love her and I remember being in her classes I think it was in 003 and I didn't like her but I loved her she used to make us hold but then you feel so good after class yeah go a little bit deeper okay take your option right hand goes up and arch over Right, so she used to, well, not just her, a lot of teachers are great yin teachers, but I went to Francis's class a lot. So she would be like, you know, hold it, and 
you'd have different emotions kind of come up. You know, a lot of it's like you get kind of ticked off and you're like, oh, I don't want to hold it. But you know what? You need to trust me. Breathe. Yeah? Deep breathing. Inhaling, exhaling. Good. And if you have any other emotions coming up, you just breathe through it. Yeah? Like we're going to breathe through this together. Hold here. Okay? 15 more breaths, 15 more breaths. Sit a little bit deeper. Again, the left hand is taking a little bit of weight, not too much, okay? Last five breaths. So we say, start hyperventilating, it's already over. So lengthen your breath, deep, 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 deep. Inhale, come up, elbow on the knee, take a moment. Good, bring both hands to the knees. Tuck your back toes. Good, my toe is not on the mat. I hope I don't slip. Inhale, back knee up. Good, hold here, arms up. Engage the back leg for five. Four, three, almost there. Two, and one. Knee down, hands down, downward dog. How goes it? Okay, vinyasa. So you can do the chaturanga, or you can exhale into eight point pose. Inhale to cobra, or upward facing dog. Exhale, downward dog. You bring your toes together, knees apart. Everybody, balasana, child's pose. Reach your hands forward. Bring your forehead onto the mat. Good. Inhaling and exhaling deep. Taking five more breaths here. Bring your chin up and slowly sit on your heels. <clears throat> We're going to do one more hip opening, lunge, and then we'll slowly, slowly bring it down. Okay? So from here, just step your right leg forward. Good. So back into the low lunge, but now we're going to go into lizard pose. So that goes more in towards the outside of the hip as opposed to the sore. The sore still stretches, elbows down, but it's more so for the outside of the hips. Hold here. Good. So you got a go hip. Right? You keep your back foot pointed. Okay, so our elbows are down. We're not going to lie down. We're just going to put the weight. If you have a block, you know, the block is great to rest your head and hold right, in any way. Or if you're up here, or if you're using elbows. Anyway, versatility here. Yeah, Work with what supports you in your practice. Hold here. Good. Now rolling to, stay where you are, rolling to the outside of the right foot. Good. So if you want to read a book, this is the first page. You're just opening to the first page. Okay, lean your weight over towards your left elbow and bring your right hand on your knee. Don't like push it away like you don't like it. I want you to be gentle and open it a little bit more. So you feel that's more towards the lower part of your buttock, your buttocks. <laughs> And open hold here yeah. so you I can't really teach you in detail because we're away from each other but you don't want to roll the outer right ankle onto the mat right so keep your right foot flexed but don't collapse you want to flex it so it's actually your ankle doesn't touch the mat hold here okay we're holding here for about 15 breaths if you want to you can tuck your back toes and lift the back knee Okay, that's optional. The whole yi shun kick dealer, so like a josa tapo hole, they hold a ha, it a hole, and hold here. Make sure that you're breathing and that the shoulders don't shrug, push away for five, four, three, two, and hold. If your knee is up, keep it up, come back into lizard pose and breathe. Okay, you go Joseph, the God Housing, and they hold the heart, keep you, they hold the heart, hold you little. 
Okay, keep your head in a neutral position so the back of the neck is long. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Come up to your hands. Everybody lift your back knee up now. Good, and jump switch. Good. And then the back knee down. Lizard, elbows down. Hmm. Hope you're having a good start in your weekend. The weather's a little bit chilly today for some reason. That's why I was wearing a shirt. Where it's hot and cold, hot and cold in Hong Kong. Good. But again, beautiful sunlight. Find your breath. Good. Bring your left hand on your knee and read the first page. Hello. And open the chest. Okay, so make sure that you're not rolling to the outside of the hip. So look at your hip and beam ya. Okay, so the left ankle and right hip do not touch the mat. Okay? Try not to touch the mat. <laughs> so you need to engage to lift it up. If you want to rest, you can. But like I said, if you tell yourself once, don't do it. When the mind's like, oh, I gotta come out of it, then you come out of it after the second or third time. Okay? Back knee up for those that were up on the other side. Keep opening the chest. So with the knee up, it's a little bit more dynamic. If that's your choice of practice, then that's it, right? But if you want more restorative, working deep into the, the tissues and connect the tissues, then you just let the back knee go down, okay? For five, four, three gentle pushes, two, and one. Knee stays up. If it's up, come into lizard. Lengthen your spine, keep it up for five, four, three, spine is straight, two, and one. Downward dog, step back. Hmm. This vinyasa, so you can eight point pose or full chaturanga. Up dog or cobra, exhale down dog. You have five breaths here, we'll go full cup and then we'll come back down. So just stay in your down dog for five breaths. Last one, and, and your knees down. Okay, we're gonna come into saddle pose, working uh, the front, the quads, and also again, the swords, the beautiful swords, okay? So when you sit at the top of your mat, bring your big toes together and your knees wide apart, yeah? So let's say you're doing child's pose like this, you wanna go wider apart, all right? So, you want to lean the weight on your hands back, lift your butt up, and then sit back down. And you kind of feel like the soles of your feet are like holding your hips, right? So it's like a saddle, like you're sitting into the saddle of your feet, okay? If you're already feeling the stretch quite deeply, then this is your practice, okay? Um, if you're like, oh, I feel it, but I think I can go deeper, then you can bring the elbows down onto the mountain. Okay, and hold here. So the neck is in any position that feels comfortable. They go, I'm going to show you this way so you see the toes. So go gangla, jianlen hai zai yam ho le zhong ni shu fu ge zi sai. Okay, if you're here and you know that you're going to stay here and you're not going to go any deeper, you can put the block and then rest in behind the head. Okay, if you want to do full pose, lie all the way down. You can, it's going to cut my head off. No, I'm still in the bath, I'm still here. Okay, so if you see the feet, their pointed ankle is down, and you feel like the feet are holding your hips. You can hold your opposite elbows and reach above your head and hold. Good. So one interesting thing, interesting thing with yin is that, you know, as we practice the dynamic practice, we, we come into these poses and you're like, yeah, I can do it. You know, not a problem. I can hold this pose. But like after 30 seconds, after a minute, you start feeling like, Ugh, this is getting a bit intense. You know, the legs might start to shake a little bit. So if that's your case, I want you just to stay exactly where you are and just breathe through it. Inhales and exhales, yeah? So it's like your, your breath is like little uh, yogi warriors going towards the areas of tightness and tension and helping you do that, you know? And because we're holding so long, you know, your muscles will get tired and your muscles need to relax. Right? And when they relax, the stretch goes deeper because your muscles naturally contract to protect. Right? So when you relax it, you start feeling it deep in towards the, the hip flexors, the fronts of the thighs. Okay? 
I'm trying to talk more so I'm trying to distract you guys. <laughs> Five more breaths. Okay, bring your elbows to the sides of the body and come up halfway first. Take a moment and then come all the way up. Good. And extend the legs back and lie on your belly. Bring your palms on top of palms and just rest your chin here. Then take a moment. Relax. For the so the person that was talking about um, lower back issues we're gonna do a little bit of just gentle strengthening of the back especially lower back and upper back so this is great to strengthen yeah it's a lot of like I said there's so many different types of back issues right but there's no downfall in in strengthening those back muscles to protect your spinal cord and nerves good interlace your fingers behind your back bring your chin down so exactly like we did before, lift your thumbs away from your hips. Good. If your forehead is down, it's more comfortable. But I don't know if you can hear me clearly if I'm like that. So I'm going to bring my chin down here. Yeah, now inhale the upper body up. So just go a little bit. So keep your chin down and look down to your mat. Engage your legs. Okay, now lift both feet up. Keep your feet together. So it means that I may not go so high, which is fine. You just want to work the spine. So once we're up, okay, now focus on kicking the legs back, lengthening the legs back, and then focus on the heart center, open it forward. So heart forward, legs reaching back. The height is not important, find length, and then depth for five, four, three, two, and one. Lie down, bring your left ear on the mat, and then just relax so that your elbows are opening and your palms are facing up. Good. Bring your chin down, second set, interlace your fingers. Good, and hold. Feet together, inhale, just come up, everything. And hold. Find your breath. Close your eyes. And pretend you're flying. Flying and strengthening and breathing for five, four, three, two, and relax down. Bring your right ear on the mat, relax the back. Oh. Okay, bring your palms down. You can just push up into like a straight arm cobra and just relax the belly, open the chest. Have your feet just a little bit apart. We're going to open up and relax the lower back. And breathe. Good. Push back and let's sit down, shall I? Okay. So, automatically I went into this because we are going to do Jhana Shishasana. So, legs straight and look towards. Again, we're going to do a very passive um, Jhana Shishasana. So, Usually, like my other classes, I'll teach you how to work on lengthening your spine and going forward and blah, 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 blah. But now I want you to just relax. And then if you rest the body and you go forward, automatically you go to the inside of the leg, which is totally cool today. It's fine. Okay, so relax. Take the block, put it on your head, and just relax down. Okay, if you want to go deeper, go deeper. Okay? So your body naturally falls to the inside of your right foot and relax. So you can see my knee is a little bit bent. Keep the knee bent if you need. Okay, holding here for about 30 breaths. Sometimes I go full cup. Yet if you want to go deeper, taking any variation of this four bend, so lehoi hai dao, tap tai got hao feng song, right? You go le shen kick xiu xiu. If you want to go deeper, Right, you can actually move your body over towards that leg and try to relax over the leg. Yeah, so that's the option that you have. And once you're here, look at my feet, relax it, relax it. If the body starts to soften and you feel like you can deepen the stretch, right? Find any position that you feel like, okay, I'm feeling something, and then breathe there. The 
I'm taking five more breaths here. I'm gonna go full cup. So invest into a block too, you know, especially for yin practices. And a great mat. The books are good, but then they open. Yeah. And once you rest your head on it, it kind of opens up when you lose it. Slowly inhale, come back up. Good. And keep your legs exactly where they are. So noticing that the knee right now is the inner thigh is like a 90 degree angle. So now you want to open it up a little bit more. So you're kind of into konasana, right? Vibhishta konasana, but with one leg bent. Okay? Okay. So now it's 90 degrees. Now it's So we're going to do a forward, so like a half pancake. Okay, so again, um, we're going to bring your body deeper, right? And when you have that feeling of ugh when it come out, I want you to try your best to breathe through it and stay with me. Okay, don't come out of the pose, okay? If it's a little bit dong 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 and everything, da, 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 you know, then you just want to breathe, inhale, exhale. Trust the process, okay? Take any props that you need, good, and go forward. Good. So come into what your pancake looks like. It could be all the way down, right? Or it could be on your elbows, okay, and hold here. Go to any position that you like. So let's say this is my practice. Right, and from there you want to relax. Yeah, so you want to make sure that the hips are still grounded, they're not lifting up too high. Good. And you're reaching forward with the hands. Good. I need to change my angle. But stay with the pose because I can't see you guys. Okay, there. Good. Lengthen forward. So wherever you feel that tightness in the pose, right, close your eyes and inhale towards that area and exhale the tension out. Yeah, you need to break through those the tightness and the and the possibly negative knots that you have left in the body from previous experiences and stuff. So really letting this process go. So we're gonna stay here for another minute, Yafanjo. Good. Okay, I'm gonna keep track of the time, so hold here. Close your eyes. Noticing if there's any areas of the body that's still like engaged, right? You want to let that go a little bit. So just go, let it go. 30 more seconds. Hands down, slowly come back up. Yeah, bring your legs in, give it a hug. Lounge, take it a go. I love my legs, love yourself. <laughs> Thank you, legs. Okay, switching sides. Left leg straight, yoga sense. So jhana shrishasana. So either to the inside of the foot or to the on top of the foot. Okay, make your choices. Okay, lean forward. We're going to stay here for one minute, about. So don't worry about the spine hunching or am I uh, doing this right? Don't worry about it. If you're feeling something, you're doing it right. Okay, if you're feeling a stretch, you're doing it right. If you're breathing deep, it's absolutely perfect, right? So just stay where you are. For those that want to go deeper stretch, realign the body to feel the deep stretch. And then once again, once you're there, relax the body. 10 more seconds. Relax the foot. Three, two, and one. Slowly come back up. Da -da 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 -da. Right, and then open your legs a little bit wider. Yeah, sit up straight just to reground your hips. Yeah, so you don't worry about the sitting up straight later. But just right now, reground the hips. Right, it holds. And then when you're ready, go forward. You know, use the block, any position that you like. Feel the hips. I can really feel that this side's much tighter than the other side. 
holding air. Mm. Inhaling and exhaling, relaxing whatever feels comfortable and position that you're comfortable in. And then finding that, that balance, you know, where it's like intensity, yet calm, if that makes any sense. Like your body's like, ah, but then you're like, your breath is perfectly smooth. You know, find that place and stretch. Let's hold it for one more minute. Time really flies by. Plus it's almost over soon. Stay for 40 more seconds. Reach forward. Make sure you have a mat underneath your heel, otherwise it's so painful. Engage. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and slowly come back up. Give yourself a hug, 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 and, and lie down, fun day. So turn around, lie down, coming into a Shavasana. Good. So your feet are as wide as the mat, I'll bring you in first before you change. And your hands are by the sides of the body, and just resting here. Close your eyes, taking a few long, deep breaths, and letting that mat hold you, supporting you. Holding here for 10 breaths. Good. With your feet as wide as they are, bend them and bring the soles of the feet onto the mat. So the outer edge of the legs should be right at the outer edge of the mat. My mat is super wide, so I don't think I can bring it that wide. <laughs> but usually, yeah, a bit more than hip width, okay? So from here, bring your knees over towards your right, right? So that your knees are far. Good, and turn your head, look over towards your left. You can bring your arms into robot arms or extend it or just rest them, totally fine. Good. If you want a deeper stretch in towards the IT band, bring your right ankle on top of your left knee and let it rest on there and bring it the knee deeper. So just letting gravity take its course, right? Just relax. Okay, once you're in the pose, close your eyes and breathe. Starting to relax your toes a little bit more, relaxing your jaw. The breath is just natural, so just let it become just a subconscious rhythm. Breathing, inhaling, exhaling without any force. Good. Release the foot on, from above the ankle, come back to center. Switching sides, knees to the left. Left ankle on top of the knee. If you did it that way, you can turn your head to the right. So this Saudian bado or right? You can put it anywhere that feels good for you. Good. And just breathing here. Close your eyes. Taking five more breaths here, a little full cup. Coming back to center and extend your legs into Shavasana. Okay, the first thing you want to do is to relax your jaw. Okay. So just stay in Shavasana. Okay. Move your hands further away from the body. Good, and make sure the palms are facing up and the fingers are naturally curled, relaxing. Okay, 
记得把牙唔好咬住，做大休息嘅时候 ，so the jaws relax and the lips are just gently sealed. But you want to feel the cheeks relax down onto the mat, and then feel the skin of the neck become very soft. Coming to a place where you're so still that the only movement is the belly rising and falling on the inhale and exhale, letting the body relax and be taken care of by the mat. Noticing that there's any any tension or anxiety still in the body, right? Relax it. Let it go. If you want to stay in your shavasana, you can. Right? If you're okay to sit up, slowly move your hands and your feet. Good. And turn your head to the left and right. Stretch the body if it's craving it. And then when you're ready, rolling over to your right and coming into a seated position. Good. Joining your hands into your heart center. So and so by some hajongan. Feel the spine realign, the weight shifted back towards the sit bones, and again, letting the heart center shine, and let the shoulders soften. Closing class together with one om. Inhale. Thank you so much for practicing with me and checking in. Thank you. Namaste. Okay, so if you're still in Shavasana, you can just turn the phone off. Um, I'm going to come back over to you guys. How are you guys feeling? I want to check in with everybody. Good. Hi, how do you feel? Thank you. Thank you so much for practicing with me, guys. It, it, it's, you know, special circumstances, and I really appreciate you guys checking in. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so like I said before, um, I don't know why I'm whispering. Hopefully, if you're in Shavasana, you turned it off, okay? <laughs> but if you have any questions, let me know. Okay, 有啲咩問題啊，或者關於你嘅瑜伽嘅 practice 咧，你記得你可以寫啲 comment 啊、uh, ，let me know and everything. Okay, I want you guys to be um happy, healthy. Uh, I want you to stay safe. Um, keep practicing. You know, and there's so many beautiful things that can be done through online and social media, right? But I do. I am so looking forward to the day where I'm able to teach you guys in person. Okay, so um till then. We'll keep seeing each other on the screen. Okay, thank you guys. Okay, I'll I'll keep you updated on, on, when I'm teaching again and everything. Okay, okay. Thank you. Any questions? Keep commenting. I'll I'll find you somehow. Okay. Namaste, guys. Thank you.